A one rock dam is an erosion control structure built in the bed of a straight low grade channel using a single layer of rock. So at this particular site, we're gonna be building a one rock dam. Uh, the intention here is to slow the velocity of water as it's moving through a straight section of channel. Step one, dig a trench and build the splash pad. First thing we can do is we can actually excavate a little bit of this soil. It only needs to be about one or two uh, rocks wide. At this point, we'll start to grab ideally some flatter stones uh, that can be set kind of a, against that uh, or kind of similar to that original elevation. Always trying to create or put the flattest part of the stone in contact with the ground so it doesn't tip or roll. Here's we're going to leave the second row um, just slightly elevated. It's still embedded but it's slightly elevated so that the next section of, of stones that we built here are gonna be pushing against the back of the, or the top of this stone. Nothing's gonna try and tip over the next one. As we're building this entire structure, we wanna make sure that it remains somewhat concave so that the um, majority of the water remains or kind of centered through the structure. If it was completely flat across here, the concern would be that water could potentially get around it. Step two. Seed the area above the splash pad. We've just collected some native seed off the uh, landscape. This is an alkali sacatone. You can use wildflowers or other forbs. And as we put stones above it, the stones will serve as a mulch. So there's no need to actually bury any of this. The seed should germinate from underneath the stone. Step three, build upstream from the splash pad. At this point, we're gonna to start to use stones that continue to maintain that concave shape, but also start to lift the elevation of the, of the actual structure. This is a one rock dam, meaning that it's only one rock high. We're not gonna stack any stones on top of each other, but we will get lift or a little bit of height uh, from the stones that we lay down. You don't wanna put any excess height in the middle of this, because it'll force water around it too much. So try and maintain kind of a constant uh, elevation across that middle. If you recall, we excavated a small um, kind of a footer area. We took that sediment or that soil, we tossed it up channel up here so that it'll wash into the structure uh, during the next storm. Uh, we embedded a couple of rows of stone that are kind of at the same elevation of the original uh, channel bed. Uh, we then uh, built the splash pad so that it's even or the height of the original channel bed. Uh, and then cast a little bit of uh, grass seed and some wildflower mix uh, in the channel above this area and then proceeded to construct uh, the rest of the one rock dam using stones that are kind of one rock high, not stacked, fitting them together as tightly as possible. Um, and ultimately we've maintained this kind of concave shape so that water should pass through the center of it. Uh, as the water's passing through, it'll hit these stones, it'll have to meander between each one. Uh, it'll slow down, drop the sediment, uh, and a little bit of extra moisture. Uh, the rocks will maintain a mulch uh, to improve soil moisture below them so that hopefully we get some germination of those seeds. Um, but the one final kind of step here is we're gonna take a little bit of gravel. And if you see any small gaps between the stones, uh, you can actually start to armor it um, even a little bit more uh, by just kind of finding places to put those in there just so it fills in uh, some of the holes uh, or the places where the, the cobble didn't fit together perfectly.